Well, hello everyone. Marty Grace Big here, your host for the Joint Venture Success Summit. And here with me is Julia Steggy. And we're going to be talking about how he, how Joint Ventures help grow her business. Really excited about uh, learning more about her story. And I'm sure you are too. So, Julia, welcome to the stage. Hey, thanks so much, Marie. It's great to be here. I am delighted as well, and I'm sure our audience too. So before I get too excited here, love for you to share with us what was it like? I mean, what was your life and your business kind of like a before and after scenario of your story of what happened or how did your venture, um, you know, help your business? And what was it like before you used your ventures and what was it like afterwards? So it's kind of picture it for our audience to see for themselves that they too can do this. Okay. Well, um, I have been in business for myself for 25 years, just about. And um, I have been an artist, uh, a designer as my career for over 30, 35 years or something like that. Long time. And um, I was, uh, you know, as artists, we tend to be loners and pretty much nobody gets us. So we don't expect people to understand us. So we're very highly creative and out of the box and always doing things no one else has ever done before. So um, people are often confused by us or we're just, you know, we're just not the, the usual type. Um, and so I withdrew a lot. Um, and try to do everything on my own. I had partners for the first eight years of my business, but when those didn't work out, then I just thought, oh, I don't want any partner. Now, these were like business partners. We shared everything, you know, we shared all the money, we shared all the responsibilities. Um, and the, you know, when those, they were, you know, we, we did stuff, but that when they left or whatever, or I left or whichever happened, um, it just left a sour taste in my mouth. So for many years, I just struggled on my own thinking that was what I had to do. And, um, well, I had done maybe a couple of partnerships along the way that we would call now maybe joint venture, maybe about 10 years ago. Um, just, oh, I, oh, my friend so-and-so is doing this thing and, you know, maybe you want to check it out, but pretty loose. It's very loose. And I didn't get great results from that. Um, it was just a friendly thing to do. And, uh, what happened was um, I reached my own glass ceiling. So um, at one point I figured it out mathematically that even though my income kind of went up and down over this period of 10 years, if you averaged it out, it was $50,000 gross for 10 years. And then if you took five years and averaged those out, it was 50,000 a year. Though sometimes it went up, sometimes it went down. The average, was this 50,000 mark. And um, I realized, wow, that's my own glass ceiling. That's not my boss, you know, keeping me down. <laughs> that's something in my mindset that won't let me go beyond that. So if I would go up one year, I would go down the next year and it would all even out. And I started taking classes uh, from online marketers, and this is say maybe seven, six or seven years ago, like 2009. Mm -hmm. I've been doing stuff on my own since forever. I started doing websites in 97, and I, I maybe I had some programmers helping me, but mostly I was doing everything on my own. Then when I started studying the gurus, I was like, oh, they're, all these people are getting other people to promote their stuff and they all know each other. How did that happen? And um, a friend of mine introduced me to a woman who was doing a giveaway. So Linda Puig does a, a giveaway every year called the Get It Done. No, Done For You. Sorry, Done For You giveaway. And... Um, she, because she had said the best way to increase your income is to increase your list size. 